Okay, my uh, power supply stopped working yesterday, just out of the blue. Haven't had any issues. Um, so I popped it apart. It's got four screws in the bottom of it on this plate right here. I don't think y'all can see that well enough. On this plate right here, where the uh, little stoppers are, what do you want to call it? Those little rubber pad things. Those things right there, where they're at. Um, where they're at, then they uh, they have screws underneath it. There are four screws, one for each corner, of course. Um, it was a pain to get apart. You can see where I chewed on the corner there, trying to get it apart. Um, tried it last night, but the wife was asleep in the house, so I didn't want to make any major noise. Um, got this morning, and I got my realm of pick tools and screwdrivers and everything else to try to get it open um, so decided to take it outside and I smacked it real good on one of the corners uh, on the concrete on the on the bricks uh, out front and it popped it right open on one side and the rest I just kind of pried open it looks like they glued the thing together with super glue or something I don't I don't know anyways um, couldn't find it, couldn't figure out what the problem was, kept on getting sparking, arcing, and finally, um, after I'd went through and pulled this metal piece off the bottom, unsoldered it right there, uh, it's got two on each end, got one on each end that is, unsoldered it and I resoldered all this to think, okay, well, that's the problem. Nope. There is a black, it's actually black, I put red tape on it because I pulled the, um, the uh, heat shrink off of it and I don't have any more heat shrink so uh, I just put black or red tape around it to hold it back together but it's a fuse is what it is um, and it solders in right there that hole right there and then the other arm goes in the other hole there well the bottom piece is I guess welded uh, that holds the fuse in it's just got two little caps on the end of it and it has a, a wire that comes out on each end and I guess the wire was probably the same length on both ends but um, as far as board solder it stuck it in there and cut the rest of it off but this is the end that's loose and it's just loose um, it just would spin around in there so I just took a big glob of solder and put it on there and um, it worked just fine now the, how I figured this out was whenever my power supply went down then I started wiggling the power cord and the end of this thing with it on and it would come on and go off come on and go off so I thought it was this that came unsoldered actually I thought it was directly soldered to the board but as you can see it's not it's just got wires going to the board um, anyways so you can see the big blob of solder that I put on the end of that thing um, I am uh, gonna solder it back in and I will um, Turn it back on, turn the camera back on and see where we're standing.